Hey guys, it's Keralis and welcome back everybody to the second episode in the modern row houses or terrace houses. I'm not really sure what you're gonna call them. Terrace houses? Row houses? Row kind of sounds there. Doesn't matter. You guys want me to furnish one of them and that we will do just to give you some inspiration ideas and whatnot. First of all, let me just take a tour on the inside of one of them, all right? So we come in here. This is gonna be a little utility room. We got the garage on this side, which is fairly sized. A little guest bathroom or toilet downstairs. A staircase leading up. Kitchen, living room, all right? And it's gonna be the back garden over here. So that's pretty amazing. If we take the staircase and venture on adventure upside, upstairs, I mean, upside, up, doesn't matter, hey. Uh, we have a humongous hallway. We have a bedroom, family bathroom, master bedroom with an ensuite bathroom just around the corner and a little balcony overlooking absolutely nothing so you know what let me grab some stuffs and we're gonna start furnishing just to save some time and we're gonna start down here in the little utility room all right the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove this lantern remove those two blocks here in the ceiling and now we have some lights for lightning purposes of course on the floor here we're gonna put the block of quartz here and here this is gonna be like a washing machine, fumble dryer, I don't know, item frame, item frame, and some paints in both of them, all right? On top of that, pleasure plates. Doesn't really matter which one you pick, just pick one which you kind of prefer, all right? And also, let me just grab some gray carpet maybe. So let's just go gray carpet here and here. Just because it kind of looks pretty and kind of like, just adds to the ambiance, I guess. Here we're gonna use a little shelving unit using uh, iron trapdoors or wooden ones if you don't have the iron ones, okay? So just use those. On the wall we can just hang a white banner, kind of represents a towel or something, because you know, it's kind of a washing room and whatnot. We can also put a trip wire hook here, so you can kind of hang up some clothes. And that is about it. I mean, it's very simple, but uh, it's a little utility room. We don't really need, need much more than this. Could put at this one here as well, but no. Let's just keep it like that. So we have a washing machine, fumble dryer, carpet, a little like towel, hanging thing, a little shelving unit, and some light up here. So that is the utility room, everybody. Aha! Next, we're gonna move into the living room. And I'm gonna do this section first and then move on to the kitchen, all right? Here, we're gonna start off by using some quartz. On the fourth block from each corner, we're gonna place a quartz block. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. That should give us a three block gap on each side. So if you did this correctly, GG's, I'm very proud of you. If you didn't, you can just extend those pillars here on both sides and the balcony and stuff like that and just move the windows and you're good, gonna be good, all right? So this course is gonna be going all the way up like this and one more here. So that leaves us a two block gap here. In this gap, we're gonna place a white stained uh, glass block Remove that, remove this, remove that. And also make sure that you have fire spread disabled because otherwise this might go really out of hand, all right? And I'm gonna remove those three just in case I haven't. So it looks like something like this. It's gonna be a little fireplace. I'm gonna place our oak wood block log here. Just kind of to add to the ambiance of the whole place. And I'm gonna lit it on fire. Bam, there we go. What goes for the spotlights here, I'm gonna add some spotlights, so let me just why can't I grab you? Doesn't matter. There we go. Now we got it. Sea lanterns. I'm gonna place one here, two blocks away or one block away from the, the whole fireplace. One here, one block away from the wall or two blocks and one on this side. It's gonna represent a little spotlight area for us. We can now remove the dose. Carpet. Place carpet, one, two, three, four, and five blocks. So it kind of goes out by one block away from the fireplace itself, all right? One more layer, so that's two layers or two rows of, of carpet. Gonna place on each side, white wool blocks on this side, white wool block on that side. Here, we're gonna place some snow blocks. Don't have to, you can just use wool to be honest, but I'm just gonna place some, some, some snow blocks. And on top of that, maybe just one layer of snow caps. Kind of represent a little couch. And for seating purposes, I'm just gonna use quartz slabs, cause otherwise uh, the firework is gonna melt. Cause if you use, for example, snow caps, which kind of would look more amazing, 
that's gonna that's gonna be melted by the, the fireplace itself so i'm just gonna remove that and use some cord slabs like that and the carpet itself can now uh oh no 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 can be now extended all the way around the couch like this just to kind of make it look pretty so now it looks something like that and honestly that is a pretty stylish uh, living room so far next i'm gonna be using some jungle wood stairs and jungle wood slabs here on this corner one block away from the wall or two blocks away it's gonna be like a one block gap i'm gonna place an upside down uh, stair case and the same on that side leave one block gap right in the middle place a slab in between a weighted pleasure plate on that side doesn't matter you can just choose whatever you want all right a flower pot on this side and maybe just add an orchid like that and here i'm gonna place a painting let me just see if we can find the painting of choice no no perfect i do like that painting for reasons i know i think that looks really majestic so we're gonna keep that here here just next to the fireplace i'm just gonna use a cauldron and I'm gonna use some jungle leaves kind of blends really nicely with the jungle wood here as well so kind of a little bush could place it here as well let me just see how that looks just in case you guys want to do that looks like that kind of looks a little bit misplaced so you know what let's just keep it here and be super happy about it on this side here just kind of keep it very very simple add an upside down staircase of quartz here and one here in between that or just on the sides a slab and a slab on this side and we can just poop down <laughs> poop down a blue orchid because we have it in the inventory like that and that is a very very simple living room so now let's move into the kitchen for this i'm gonna be using the same materials here the jungle wood because i gotta think it's gonna fit the theme so first off we're gonna start off by placing one two three blocks of full blocks of jungle wood just on this wall here right we're gonna turn it by one then place a furnace bam place one more full block bam then we're gonna place a staircase facing the wall like this all right there's gonna be a little sink unit and then two more full blocks that should leave us a two block gap here which we're gonna place a refrigerator later on okay we can kind of demolish that and place one two and three more full blocks like that then going from this here we're gonna place one and two jump one because it's gonna have a little hoove here for the for the furnace and whatnot so place one block here then place two white stained or block of choice you can just do whatever because i gotta, gotta think it adds to the whole ambiance in the kitchen and then one more full block on that side on top of that just add some slabs all the way across to here like this then i'm gonna go here and pick up a stair a quartz stair and bam so that's gonna be kind of like sucking out all the bad poopy smells from that guy over here then on top of this you know what we can do just add a pleasure plate shift click in place like that on the wall as a tab a trip by hook because yeah what else and also on all those covers up here we can just place buttons all the way across like this perfecto el mundo what goes to the lighting let's remove that and as you can see here we have one block away or two blocks away we have a, a little spotlight so let's do the same here let's start as the pillar goes here because that's gonna kind of go over the kitchen island island over here so two black uh, two block gap in between two block gap in between and bam so there we got some kitchen spotlights like this on top of this as this is going to be kind of like a little kitchen island we're going to add some carpet bam 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 and also you know what we could do we can maybe add one uh, chair here one chair here could use some item frames in them like this if you wanted that is don't have to but kind of looks pretty in use perfect flower pot here and you know what i'm gonna pick another flower i guess can't use the orchids all over the place bam that looks kind of pretty can also add a little flower pot here representing like a little cup and maybe make a little coffee machine might look a little derp delicious i guess but we can maybe fix that with placing a sign <laughs> maybe not but you can always like add some buttons in this kind of look representing a little like thingy i like that so let's keep this and refrigerator you know what let's go super simple do we have any full blocks of course yes we do here 
So let's add one, two, one, two, one, a little maybe upside down here. We're just gonna kind of representing like a little water machine or, or ice cube machine or something. I don't know. And maybe some slabs on top just to kind of even out the elevation here. You know what? It looks pretty, pretty nice. What we could do maybe, let me just see here. I got the little staircase going up here. So maybe if I demolish those, and maybe even this one, just in case, and maybe just add some glass here, like this. Because that's kind of gonna let some light in, like in a realistic situation, right? It's gonna let some real, uh, light in here into the staircase, because otherwise it's gonna be very dark and scary. Perfect, so everybody, here is a very, very, very simple kitchen design. Damn, this looks really cozy. I'm loving it. Either way, let's get in here into the little bathroom. It's a two by two place. It's very small. So we kind of need to maximize the space, right? I'm going to remove that thing here. I'm going to demolish this block and this block and place some lanterns just for lighting purposes. I think we can delete here that we can do. You know what we're going to do? We're going to delete that stair block here. I'm going to place a stair quartz facing this direction. I'm going to replace the stair jump down here again and <laughs> I know it's super dirt but it's gonna be a little sink area so let's just place a three by hook an item frame and in that item frame let's just add do 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 red stained clay it's just gonna be hot water down here I don't know <laughs> I love it so that is a little sink area I know it's super dirt but hey we don't really have much space in here now do we I'm gonna place a hooper hopper it's gonna be the toilet with a gray carpet piece on top. It's gonna to be like our poopy place. We're gonna also place a flower pot, which is gonna represent the toilet brush, as you can see. <laughs> that's poop inside already. Doesn't matter. Any house. And maybe just a painting. Let me just find a cool painting. Maybe like there's one of those little like purpley flowers. That kind of oh crapper. That will kind of feed the theme. Uh oh, that will kind of feed the theme down here. I guess we have the lime. We've gotten the lime like billions of times. Bam! There we go. You know what? It is not very spacious on the inside, but it's just a good little guest toilet down here. So we take it. A uh, cool thing to place would be maybe a mirror. Oh no, you know what? TP. We need TP for our bang hole. So I mean, let me just see here. We got that. We got an iron frame on the wall, right? We're gonna place inside of that. Do, 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 do. We're gonna place a wooden button, of course, and then a quartz uh, pillar block. So first is first, let's place the button on the wall and then just this little like quartzy block that way and kind of twist it like that. So there we got a little TP for our bang hole. It doesn't, yeah, it's kind of like, you know, we can use it for the sink purposes and you can use it for the toilet. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> let's close this. And what do we got left down here? We got the living room and kitchen done, toilet, utility room. Oh, let's do something here in the garage as well. So in here, let's keep it simple as the rest, alright? We're gonna place some red stained clay blocks in this formation like this on this far wall. Leave this gap B. Place one, two, three more here. And on those we're gonna place some stone buttons. Ba bam bada beam. We're gonna place a hooper hopper there with a tree wire hook. So it looks like something like that. So that's gonna be our like snap on tool racks or whatnot. I love it. Also, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna place, let me just see here. I'm gonna place two, 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 if I just count them correctly. Let's place one here, two blocks away on the third block. Place one here and one here. So then we go two blocks on this side and we have two blocks on that side. Kind of make it, makes it kind of semi-symmetrical. Next thing is, I'm gonna grab some coal blocks and I'm gonna place one here, one here, one here, and maybe one here, just because we can. That's gonna represent like the spare tires and whatnot. So button, 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 and button. This can be demolished. I'm also gonna grab some coal, coal ore. This is gonna represent like oil stains. I always do that and I kind of think that looks pretty nice. So I'll just keep it here, like this. I'm gonna put a chest here, maybe a chest about here, a chest about here, just, just to kind of make it like feel a little bit more alive or whatnot. This is something I really do hate when kind of textures connect like that. But you know what? Nothing we can do about it. It's in the garage. No, nobody's gonna care. No. More maybe here as well. Oh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's just be happy about it. And we're also gonna add a little painting here just for whoa, whoa, whoa that was a big just for the prettiness of it. Let's just add one by like two by two painting. Bam! Like this. 
If you can hear strange sounds, by the way, it's pouring down here. It's raining so much, it's just crazy. So I'm truly sorry about that. But you know what? I think this looks pretty decent. The only thing which we have left on downstairs is kind of the hallway. And I'm thinking of kind of keeping this intact. We could place like two three bar hooks just to kind of hang off your clothes. But it's kind of a tight squeeze. So we could put like one of those like benches in here as well. But I don't know if that's just going to be too tight so let's just make it like that and i think downstairs is pretty much done let's head upstairs everybody ha -ha. and up here we're gonna start with the smaller bedroom and you know me i'm not a fan when kind of textures connect like that so i'm gonna take this uh, gray stained clay and i'm gonna make a little pillar going like this so now we can't really see it, kind of pops out a little bit, but it kind of gives a little cozy little thing here. Inside of here, I'm going to place a cha-cha wood. One, two, and three sideways. One more, one, two, and three sideways. On top of that, I'm going to add a chest here and a blue orchid. You can use whatever you want. I'm just going to use the blue orchid, all right? And also, snow caps. I'm going to place... Oh, oh, that's going to melt. You know what? We need to demolish that for now. So we're gonna place one, two, three, four, and five. So one, two, three, four, and five. 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 Counting with Kerales has never been this exciting. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And this far end, we're gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So it's gonna be a little pillar region. I know it might look a little bit semi derp but we got a little bed, which kind of looks semi cozy, anywho. Here, I'm gonna use some gray carpet just to kind of frame the bed nicely. So now we get gray carpet, a little semi modern bedroom, I would say. I'm loving it. On this wall here, place some achacha planks or wood, free in hide, going this direction. On top of that, we just place maybe some gray carpet just to kind of like frame it nicely color wise. We're gonna paint some buttons on that, like this. And you know what? Lantern. We kind of need the lantern back. And I'm not really sure if the snow will melt or not. Where is the middle at? On the third block, the lead. On the fourth block, the lead. So that gives us two blocks from this side, two blocks from that side, two blocks from that side, and two blocks from that side. So that's perfect. I'm a little bit worried that that's going to melt the snow, but uh, hopefully not. Well, we're going to see. We can put some painting maybe here, representing a TV. There, is, there, there we go. Perfect. So now we get a little TV here. Maybe a painting on this wall, just because we can. <laughs> no, it's huge, it's humongous. Those four by four are nice, some of them at least. There we go, you know what? Kind of fits the fits the color fits combination or theme here as well. And also, you know what, this little corner here, maybe what we could add here is, let me think about this, maybe an armor stand, because you know, you come in here, kind of want to hang off your clothes and stuff. So this is very simple. Uh, I don't want to squeeze in more here. This looks perfect. So that is the smaller bedroom upstairs. It is cozy. I'm loving it. Heidi, Heidi ho. Let's continue on the family bathroom. So we got this bedroom done. Love it. Now the family bathroom. First thing I'm gonna do is kind of demolish that lantern. It's really hard to see here. But if I count from this wall, we have one, two, three, four, and five, which means on the third one, we're gonna place that and now it's symmetrical. We got two blocks on this side, two blocks on that side. And this far end, I'm gonna be using some quartz stairs placed like this. Here, I'm just thinking, um, we could place quartz slabs going this way, right? So that might really work out perfectly fine. But if I demolish that, demolish that, oh no! Pick the wool, replace the wool with that, and maybe place an iron trap door. So now we got a little drainage, even though it kind of looks semi derp kind of like zip, we kind of fall down in it, but it's gonna work out. Then we're gonna take some glass panes like this, surround it. So now we have a little going in here and that kind of like little shower unit. On the wall here, I'm gonna add a lever facing downwards and maybe a stone button, which kind of represents the little controls. Perfect. On this wall, I'm gonna hang one and two towels because we can, kinda looks really nice. Here in this far end, I'm gonna place an upside down quartz there like that. On top of that, a pressure plate. That's gonna be a little toilet chair. I know it's kinda like neat, but hey, it works. It's Minecraft, nobody cares. Then on the wall, as always, boom, an item frame, TP for a bunghole and also a button. 
So let's place a wooden button on the wall and a coarse pillar block in the item frame placed sideways like that. So that's going to be our TP. And we also need a little sink. So a hooper and then just a, not a lever, a tree wire hook. Bam! This is super simple. And we, yeah, we need the poopy brush as well. Let me just get that. Ew, there we go. It's a little family bathroom, very cozy, very small, but it works out perfectly fine. So we got the little shower thing here. The drainage works perfectly fine as well. Is that, what is that below that, by the way? Oh yeah, that works. Perfect. Everybody, behold, the family bathroom. <laughs> so derp. And now let's continue, maybe with the master bedroom. Oh, let me just think about it. Oh, it's raining outside. This looks freaking awesome, by the way, using the shaders mod. Can you see the puddles on the ground here? That is so cool. That is really awesome. So let me just think about this and I'm going to be right back with you guys. You know what? I did enjoy the design we did in this room. So let's keep it kind of the same themed in this one. First thing I'm going to do is here. One block in between here from the ensuite bathroom, we're gonna place a pillar again, okay? Then we're gonna take a cha-cha planks and place them sideways. This time, they're gonna be four. In the other one, we have three, I think, I believe. Delete this for now. Perfect, that kinda looks, this makes it delicious. No, you know what? Let's just make that two in height, like that. Then we're gonna take snow. The bed is gonna be four in total, so one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. Counting with Kiraz, never been as fun as this. On the far end, we're gonna keep it six. The little pillow thing. What you could do is maybe just add one extra in the middle just to kinda kinda spice it up a little bit. Now we're gonna take the carpet and kinda surround the bed all the way around like this. Perfect. Here, I'm gonna place another pillar wall. Like this maybe, you know what? Let's just keep it three blocks from the main wall. And then maybe just have it three in height. In this far end, I'm gonna delete this block here and I'm gonna place a white stained glass like that. <laughs> Not sure why, but I'm gonna do that. And then we need to have a TV as well. TV, TV painting. No. Perfect. So there we have the bed. We have a little TV. So that kinda 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 looks nice. We could add <laughs> okay, you can use whatever you want, right? Flower pot <laughs> and blue orchid. Because we can. Like that, maybe a chest as well. One chest in the far end. And maybe chests like this, just for extra storage. I like that. That looks pretty sleek. Yep. Perfect. And here on this wall, what we're gonna do is add some tree wire hooks so you can just hang your things. Uh, just kind of throw that away. Two like that. Below here, we can just add a coarse up uh, stair, ups, upside down, like that. Then we can have a little storage unit and, and something here in that corner. Perfect. So that is done. On this side, you know what? Let me just pick this light. The middle of the room is on this pillow. Well, not really the middle of the room, but. Let me see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. You know what, let's just do it here. Let's start just below that, because it kind of kind of gives a little cozy line. And then just do, that is kind of the middle of the window. So let's do one block in between and just go one block in between like that. So we have four lights, four spotlights in the bedroom like this. Perfect. Here on this far end, let's just pick up some wool make a little couch so let's get some uh, quartz slabs like that and also for the seating let me just grab some snow there we go snow uh, here and here and some snow caps I like that a lot so let's just keep it all painting of course we need a painting as well on this far wall there we go something different something sp spicy and uh, bookshelf you know, I kind of wish, I kind of wish they've added bookshelves in different colors. Now it's just this normal derpy oak wood. It can't be that hard now, can it? Just, 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 just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. Just do it! Like this! You know what, this is very simple. Maybe what we could do is maybe kinda, kinda, kinda add an armor stand here as well. For like clothing purposes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a very simple bedroom 
So this is the master bedroom. We got the TV, we got the bed, we got a little couch unit over here. There's no bushes though. You can add a bush here if you want to. You know, let's just keep it sleek. Perfect. I'm happy with this. Next up is the hallway. You know, I've been thinking about this. What we could do here is actually delete two blocks from a uh, two blocks gap, then delete one, two, three, four, and five like this. We can remove some of the roofing here and then just place no more glass. That's gonna give us a little like nice skylight. How does this look from the outside, by the way? Oh, kind of beautiful. So let's just keep that. So now we have a skylight here, kind of let some light in. Also, you know what we could want to uh, delete that and make it a little... <laughs> I don't know what that is though, but... Uh, it's not too shabby. Let's keep that. Although I've been thinking, you know what, let's remove those. Let's just keep it super sleek in here. Like that. We can even remove that if just, in, just in case we want that. Perfect. So that is super sleek. So that is a little hallway for now. Here I'm going to place the upside down jungle wood on like this and in between we're gonna have a little slab pleasure plates flower pot and azure not an orchid this time and also a painting just behind here ice cube i love ice cube like that for example you know that <laughs> you know that you know what let's take a carpet piece and take the carpet going all around here in the middle just like that just to give it like a little cool sh oh my god oh my god this looks really cool by the way that is a keeper. Here, I'm gonna delete you. I'm gonna place a little bush, which is two in height, jungle bushes and a cauldron uh, below. I'm gonna grab the lantern and I'm gonna put, let me see here, one, two, and three spotlights on that side. And that's gonna be kind of give some light in the staircase as well, as we adventure up on an adventure upstairs. So that's perfect. And here, I'm just gonna use a little torch just for the light, ooh, uh, light effect on this side. Bam. I'm loving it. So that is pretty much it for this little area up here. And then we only have this place left, which is the bathroom. So first is first, let's demolish the block here. We have two blocks uh, here, two blocks on this side and one blocks on each side. So it's kind of like semi-symmetrical. We're also gonna use, oh crap, I kind of demolished, uh, remove that. Uh, we're gonna use some quartz stairs placed maybe in this little fashion like that that can be removed now so this is kind of like a semi bathtub semi shower unit uh, let me just grab some paints like this perfect and here it's gonna look a little bit derp i guess but uh, we can survive with it we have the the lever level and a button pretty perfect a little carpet here just as you we step in from the shower and whatnot. Perfect. And let me just get here. A toilet. No, 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 no. A toilet here. And the seating on that will be with the pleasure plate. I'm loving it. <laughs> the poopy cup <laughs> just below that. And as always, let me just do. Just in case you kind of didn't catch this, I don't frame on the wall. TP for our bang holes. A uh, button on the wall. And in that, we're gonna use some pop, 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 pillar quartz turned that way. So there's some TP. Here, we're gonna have a little sink unit. So let me just grab um, a hooper hopper and a trip wire hook. Nothing, nothing spectacular, nothing super fancy, but it kind of works out. The only thing we're kind of missing is a towel. So let's just grab a white banner and put the towel, you know what, let's just, just put it here. Should I actually have it and closer to the to the thing as well? So we can have one for the shower and one for just to wipe your hands once you've done that. And that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. We have furnished everything. So we have the ensuite bathroom. We have the, the master bedroom with a couch in the far end. The beautiful hallway with the spotlights, this the skylight. Perfect. The family bathroom here. A secondary bedroom. Pretty amazing. If we just head downstairs, we have a beautiful living room on this side. Amazing looking kitchen on this side. We have guest toilet, little washer dryer room, utility room, and we have a garage. 
I don't really need much more in this. The only thing I'm gonna do off camera is I'm gonna kinda, cause I'm running out of time. I don't wanna do like third epi a third episode cause you guys kinda hate me for that. I'm gonna do some backyarding off camera, just some simple fencing um, around this perimeter, place a tree or whatnot, and I'm gonna kinda show you guys how it could or may look uh, once you build it. Damn, I'm, I'm liking it. It's a beautiful little place. Godcrafter, you're amazing. Guys, be right back with you. All right, so let me show you what I did in the back. It's nothing spectacular, but I think it kind of works with this house uh, type, all right? So up here, I just placed like two two chairs. <laughs> nothing nothing fancy, but it's two chairs. Then if we just go through the house, you can see it kind of looks pretty cozy back here. So what I did, I did place a little deck here, a little spruce with a deck, and it's going all the way here to the pillar here. Let me just delete all the crap I got, there we go. Uh, all the way to this little pillar and then just go around and then I just have the slabs going underneath like that I have a little like bush area because you know you can't live without bushes <laughs> Blue orchids little pebbles here and there So we have the little parasol here just in case the Sun comes from the side which you're never gonna do because the Sun is Will be there, but hey, it is what it is uh, little bushes. You know how everybody's got those like little like uh, bluish uh, rubbery pools now uh, in the summers and stuff and uh, that is kind of representing that here you can just kind of dry your clothes and this is like a really cool design by the way the only thing is like if this was one block higher then the clothes kind of would kind of kind of like the banners kind of hang in the in the air but it's kind of impossible without world edit if you have world edit you can just place it there with the fast command and it's just gonna stick there now when we remove this it's just gonna like kind of like fall down and for those who can build something similar, this wall here is 13 blocks in total using the birch one. Then this is the 14 block and this is kind of the turning point and this is just just like, like birch bushes. Uh, we get the coarse dirt uh, underneath here with some spruce with a fencing in between just to kind of make it look like branches. We also get a humongous tree on the lot. But uh, it's very simple. I do like it. I did add two chairs here on the, on the upstairs as well. And that is about it. That is kind of like semi-realistic. Hope you guys enjoyed. I do like this house a lot. Godcrafter, genius. I love it. Garage, utility room, toilets. And this hallway just turned out pretty amazing. Look at the, the light in here. It's beautiful. Then this window kind of works out as well. Just imagine waking up going out here on the balcony overlooking absolute nothingness I got a book at least I don't know everybody thank you so so much for watching I'm gonna paste this in the normal world in a later stage and uh, and have a world download for it as well so don't worry about it I'm not gonna do it today though so hit the like button if you did enjoy check out Godcraft there's gonna be a link in the description and I really do hope you found some inspiration in this two-part let's build tutorial Keralis, over and out. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, everybody. I freaking love this house. Especially as, as you pa paste them, like, next to each other. I mean, on a server spawn or something. With your friends. Having, like, different colors. Maybe, like, not so extreme. But it is what it is. Everybody, sorry. Just dripping up. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I love it. I'm just gonna sit here. There we go. Oh, it's cozy. Bye. Better than, better than, better than, better than.